okay in the given question that is canosa company has three product lines that is product a b and c and they are planning the expected sale is 175000 units out of this 175 units product a that is the beer mug a will be sold 25000 units similarly b 1 lakh and c 50000 also the contribution per unit is given that is dollar 5 for beer mug a and dollar 4 for beer mug b and dollar 3 for beer mug c now if we have to find the total contribution then what we can do is we can multiply the expected units to be sold with contribution per unit so contribution will be a into b that is 5 into 25000 that is 125000 and 4 into 1 lakh that is 4 lakh and 3 into 50 that is 150,000. If we total this contribution, then we can have in this total column as 675,000 units. Now, we know that if we subtract fixed cost from contribution, then we are going to get our operating income. So, fixed contribution. The total fixed contribution has been given and that is 351,000. So, 351,000. If we subtract this from total contribution of 6,75,000, then we will be having 324,000. This is in amount, in dollars. So, this is our total operating income. Now, the first part of the question, they are asking that if the sales mix is maintained, that is, if out of 175,000 product A, 25,000 are sold and product B, that is the beer mug B is 1 lakh and similarly for product C, 50,000, then what we are going to have our break up, break even point in units. So, we know that if there is a question of sales mix, in order to find the break even point, we need two components that is break even point BEP is our break even point this will be total fixed cost on total contribution So we have total fixed cost from here dollar three five one triple zero and we have our total contribution as six seven five triple zero that gives us dollar zero point five two okay zero point five two per unit now in order to find the break even points in unit that is how much we need to sell product a b and c so that we are we have we will be reaching in our break even point what we will do this is the 0.52 it, it is the break even point per unit and if we multiply this with our sales mix that is 25000 1 lakh and 50000 then we are going to have our break even point so Break even point for beer mug A will be how much? This dollar point five two into how many products of product A is being selling? Twenty five thousand. So twenty five thousand units. So now we will have thirteen thousand units of product A and for beer mug B is 0 0.52 multiply with 100,000 and this will give us 52,000 and similarly for beer mug C we are going to have 0 0.52 into 50,000 
so we will have 26,000. If we sum up all these number of units to be sold in order to reach break even point, then we will be having 91,000. So 91,000 units are required to be sold in order to, to reach break even point. So this is the first part of our answer. Now for the second part, they are asking if the sales mix is maintained, that is the units that we are still selling, that is 25,000 of A, B and C that are given, then what we will be having our operating income. Now we have already calculated this, like if we maintain this sales mix of product A, B and C, then we are going to have 6,55,000 as our contribution. And if we subtract fixed cost, if we subtract fixed cost from this, then we are going to have our operating income. So this is the second part of our answer. So what we have, we are having to total contribution as Seventy five thousand, and if we subtract the fixed cost of three lakh and fifty thousand, fifty one thousand, then we will be getting our operating income as three twenty four thousand. This is the operating income. Now, we will be solving part 3. Okay, in part 3, they are saying that the num total number of units that we will be selling is 175,000, but they have changed the sales mix. Earlier, we were having product A 25,000 units, B of 50,000, and C similarly. And then in the new sales mix, they are saying that if we are selling product A 25,000 units, Product B 75,000 units and product C also 75,000 units. Then what will be our new break even point? So earlier the calculation that we have done, we will be moving similarly. Now this is the total contribution. So contribution per unit will be the same. dollar 5 for product a dollar 4 for product b and dollar 3 for product c so total contribution will be what we will be doing we will be multiplying contribution per unit with the number of units that are being sold like product a 25000 unit and contribution we have dollar 5 per unit so 25000 into dollar 5 that will be giving us 125,000 units, dollar 125,000. Similarly, for product B, we will be having dollar 300,000, and for product C, we will be having dollar 225,000. Okay, so total contribution will be contribution of A, B, and C that is 125,000 units plus contribution of B and C. So total this will be coming dollar six hundred and fifty thousand. This is the total contribution that we will be having. And if we subtract fixed cost from this total contribution, and the fixed cost it is given as dollar three lakh fifty one thousand. Three lakh fifty one. Then we will be having our operating income. So this will be dollar two hundred and ninety nine 
thousand. So the operating will income will be two hundred and ninety nine thousand, and the new break even point that we will be getting here, we will be doing the calculation similarly what we have done in question number one. So in order to calculate break even point in unit, what we need to have first, we need to have our total fixed cost. So total fixed cost is same, that is three hundred and fifty one thousand, and divided by total contribution that is dollar six hundred fifty thousand. This will be zero point five four. And now what we will be doing? We will be multiplying the sales mix proportion with this figure. So for A, B, and C. For A, number of units we are having is twenty-five thousand. For B, it's seventy-five thousand. And for C is also seventy-five thousand. And if we multiply this with the zero point five four. Then we will be having our break-even unit. So twenty-five thousand into point five four is thirteen five hundred. For B, it will be four zero five double zero. For C, it will be four zero five double zero. So if we total this thing, then we will be have total break-even point that is ninety-four. 500 so this is our break even point in unit so in total if we will be selling 94500 units and the proportion will be 13500 of a 40500 of b and 40500 of c so in this sales proportion also we will be having our break even unit and the question has also asked about operating income that we have already calculated it is dollar 299000 so what we will do we will be moving to the next part of the question that is question number 4 okay for comparing the two options of the sales mix what we have done first we will be taking the total contribution so as per the first sales mix that we have we were having our total contribution as dollar 675000 and in the second sales mix option we were having 650000 and the total units that we were selling was same 1 lakh 75000 One lakh seventy-five thousand. So, if we calculate average contribution here per unit, that is, if total contribution is A and total contribution is B, then average contribution will be A divided by B. So, for the option one, we will be having average contribution as dollar three point eight six, and for the second option, we will be having dollar. 3.71 okay this is the average contribution and break even point the both the option we were having 91000 units needed to be sold to reach break even in the first sales mix option and in the second one we were having 94500 units to be sold in order to reach break even point so if we analyze this two option that is 1 and 2 then we can see that in the first option we are reaching at the break even point earlier than the second one that is if we sell 91000 units that we we will be having our break even point and for the second option we need to sell 94500 units in order to have our break even point so there is a relationship between the average contribution and break even point units that that is if the average contribution is more then what we will be having we will be reaching our break even point earlier and if the average contribution is less 